Question number two um, is about chi-square test and chi-square test basically uh, looks at the uh, observed distribution and uh, compare it with the expected frequency um, for example a normal curve and the more different are the frequencies the less likely it is that the empirical observations come from the theoretical distribution um, and the chi-square statistic uh, is basically based on the difference between the observed and the expected values so this is how the uh, chi-square test looks like the null hypothesis is that the sum of all the differences between observed value and the expected values is zero and then um, and the alternative hypothesis is that in fact it's not equal to zero so um, if you were to paraphrase it null hypothesis states that there is no significant significant difference between the observed and expected frequencies and um, it's always a two-tailed test and the alpha is 0 0.05 that is the 5% significance level and you perform the test and you decide whether to reject the null hypothesis or not now if the p-value again is less than or equal to the alpha level if it's less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis which is the that the observed and expected values are the same in SPSS you click on an analyze non-parametric test and then you click on chi-square here and you will then be able to fill the values and the output would look like this um, and so you could see that uh, in this case I've just tested something um, the question was um, see if the values if, if the data set has the town size which is question 63 in the trust data set Q63 if the observations are distributed equally so the total are 496 observations and expect you know under naive expectation you would say that the observations should come equally from the three size of cities that is 165.3 from each but if you could see here uh, the observations are different um, 122 from less than 10,000 people um, and 232 observations are from towns where population is between 10,000 and 100,000 and then 142 observations are from towns where population is greater than 100,000 uh, 100, and these values are different from these values so a chi-square test is performed and uh, the significance value is zero um, or very close to zero it's certainly less than 0 0.05 which allows us to say that we reject the null hypothesis that the observed and the expected values are zero now here the expected values were theoretical we can actually put the real values if we know them um, and then can test the hypothesis there as well the binomial test which is question number 2b is used for binary or dichotomous or variables uh, such as gender is male or female and the null hypothesis is that the proportion of that dichotomous variable male or female in the sample is imputable to sampling error only so if you know that in the world there are 52 percent males and 48 percent uh, 52 percent females and 48 percent males but in your data set you have 71 percent females and 29 percent males then the question is is this difference um, because of the sampling error or is it a little bit more than that and this goes down to um, how representative your data are and how useful it could be in that sense um, if it is uh, if the difference in the samples um, is due to sampling error or are there systematic difference uh, biases that we are either aware of or not aware of so we use the binomial test and um, you get this dialog for the binomial test and then you select and here the question was for uh, to test the butcher shop um, that um, we are testing the assumption that about 30 percent of consumers shop in butcher's shop and um, this is the binomial test using question 8d so I select butcher here and I select 0.7 here now the reason I'm selecting 0.7 and not 0.3 which is 30 percent is because I know and I only knew afterwards um, after doing it once wrong that the the way data are coded 
no option is one which is 70 percent in the data set and yes option is uh, second which is 0.3 and therefore um, the you know, it makes sense to put 0.7 here because it's testing the observed proportion against this proportion 0.7 uh, to say that um, um, 30 percent shop at butchers um, is the same here 0.3 is shopping at butchers and 70 percent are not and we're testing the hypothesis is it true it could be 0 0.6 0 0.5 but the question said 0.30 percent and I put 0.7 here for that and the um, the uh, p-value is uh, 0.194 and uh, we fail to reject the null hypothesis um, uh, sorry uh, let me rephrase it yes we fail to reject the null hypothesis and we say that the proportion of males and females and in this case those who buy at the butcher shop and not buy buy at the butcher shop um, if there is any difference from the uh, observed data set uh, is the sample any different from the real data set um, the error is due to sampling error another interesting but not as useful test is the runs test now let's say there is a dichotomous variable gender and um, the gender variable could either be entered as one or two and if you look at the data set if it's entered like this that the first person is male 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 and then two stands for female and then female 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 it doesn't look like that the data were entered randomly but if you were to look at this entry male male female male female female male male female female male this looks like a more random pattern and you can test if your data are uh, entered random or otherwise um, by running a runs test which is um, again easy to do and by the way if I forgot to mention how to get to binomial you could see the binomial is right here uh, as well under non-parametric tests so you select runs and um, you then uh, get the value and the significance um, uh, coefficient is two-tailed and it is testing that either there are too few or too many runs compared to the expected runs under random conditions and if you get a negative z value it implies there are fewer runs than you would be expected and if the p value is less than 0 0.05 it implies that uh, we conclude that data did not appear to be uh, entered randomly uh, and it doesn't mean that the data were not collected from uh, are not from uh, an output of uh, or are not a product of a random sampling it just means that the data were not entered in a random fashion um, not a very helpful uh, test because I don't see any uh, use in immediately 